Hello guys and welcome back to another Silicon Market update. I'm recording this video from my phone because I just moved to a new apartment and uh, I'm waiting for the internet to be set up. Otherwise, I wouldn't be recording like this. It's just way faster. But anyways, guys, we're going to be looking at Silica on the weekly time frame and then down to the daily. We'll be discussing a bullish divergence and what that means. And then I'll show you guys a brand new pattern that I discovered. This one is down, like I said, to the daily. But Let's go ahead and discuss this first yellow rectangle here because this is where we had a bullish divergence uh, previously and I want to show you guys what happened next. So basically, let's pay attention to this side of the price. We have this low, the price tries to move up but it fails at a level of resistance and then we head to a lower low. But then we look at the relative strength index, which is down here. It's this entire white line. And we can see that on this lower low, the second low, the RSI held a higher low. So this is, like I said, a bullish divergence. And this shows that the downtrend, the bears, the sellers, the momentum to the downside is getting weaker. And so what happened after that? Well, we did get a rally above the previous high, also the previous level of resistance, and that's where this uh, latest uh, silica bull market came. And then guys, let's go ahead and discuss a bearish divergence, because right here on the second rectangle, we obviously see price action going up, but then we look at the RSI and this started going lower. In fact, this last low here, the third peak, is lower than the first two. But up here, price action is even higher. So we have price going up and the strength of that move going down. So we had this correction that we see today. Now guys, let's go ahead and discuss the third rectangle because this is the one developing right now. And just like in the first case, we have a bullish divergence. Here we see that this low is lower than the previous low. In the meantime, the RSI is still holding a high. I'm sorry, it's still holding this low, which is higher than the previous low. So once again, we are seeing the downtrend starting to get weaker. Yesterday, I made a video explaining my thoughts on silica using Elliott wave theory. And I did mention that we could very well get a bear market rally, more so if Bitcoin uh, has a significant move to around $28,000 or $30,000, like I've mentioned many times before. Now, guys, with that being said, we have the next level of support, which is basically three cents. This is right here. And then the immediate level of resistance is going to be 5.7 cents. We could round it up to six cents. And I am talking in dollars here. Now, let's go ahead and go down to the daily because here we have what seems to be a symmetrical triangle. So basically, we have this white triangle, which is composed of higher lows. Again, a higher low, and we should in theory have a higher low. Um, if the triangle is going to remain, right? If it's not gonna break out just yet, we should see a higher low here. Just like we've been seeing lower high lower high after lower high at some point price action is pushed towards the apex the tip of this triangle and we're forced to see a decisive breakout now let's quickly mention the price targets which are these white lines i've 
I've got this price target based on the length of the base of this triangle. So the target to the upside would be eight cents. Of course, that would require uh, silica to move above six cents. And then the target to the downside would be approximately 2.3 cents. And that would as well require price action to lose the support level at three cents, guys. So this is down to the daily and we're likely gonna see a break out of this triangle really, really soon. Now let's go ahead and move back to the weekly real quick. And here we have the 10 moving average, which is this yellow line that is following price action. Right now, guys, if you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit. We are below the yellow line. Silica needs to rally above it in the immediate short term in order to move up when we look at this weekly chart. So it has to get above 0 0.04 cents. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so that you can remain up to date. And if you have any questions about Silica or cryptocurrencies in general, make sure to join our Telegram community in the description. Uh, not the description, it's actually the top comment. If you want to, you can join our Telegram community. And there's always people asking questions there. I would be glad to help. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.